Welcome back to Satisfactory, and today we're going to be getting to coal power. Yes, it's important. So we got the current milestone, of coal power at the top right, and we're just going to need a little bit of cable to get that done. So let's just put some cable in. Uh, ready to go. Off it goes. And coal power is unlocked. Good, and we should look at what our next milestone is going to be. Uh, we've got some new, new buildings available. Hmm. Also, that that might be good. Fast belt is always good. However, uh, do we have anything else in the meantime? Um, no, no, not really, not really, and no. Okay, so uh, we could get onto tier three stuff, or even into steel at some point. However, let's go and see what we can build. That's new, first of all. So, coal generator is new, and it's massive. It needs three modular modular frames. Uh, yep. So that's not too worrying. It needs rotors, and it needs cable, and of course we're making rotors automatically, we're just not feeding them anywhere upstairs, so they, they will just pile up inside the machine. Just in like Factorio will store a certain number of them. Um, uh, let's just see, vehicles, yes, this is what we want, the tractor. That also needs modular frames, and it needs beacons, so we need to be able to make those. And rotors as well. Okay, can I even make beacons? I don't think I can yet. Uh, no. So we're going to need to unlock the beacons, which will be in here somewhere. Um, no. No. Where are the beacons? Uh, am I missing them? Um, hmm. Ah, there they are. We should already be able to make them. Oh, presumably they must be in the, the equipment... Uh, Come on, bench then. Uh, yeah, they are. Okay, and they just take bits and pieces that I already have, so uh, I can just craft, let's say, ten of them. Yep, ten will do. And that should give us room to be able to make a, a tractor, essentially, so vehicles. And yeah, so we just need modular frames for that. Uh, modular frames. Um, shouldn't be too worrying. They just need reinforced iron plate, and we've got lots of that as well. Before we actually go up and build that, however, I just want to make a quick um, update here. Essentially what we've got is a machine uh, here, the Miner Mark 1, that can produce 60 iron ore, ore a minute. Uh, this, this belt, can take 60 iron ore a minute before we move to Mark 2 belts, but this smelter can only deal with 30, or can only produce 30 a minute. So, it's basically bottlenecking the system at the moment. So, I'm just going to remove it, and review, and remove you. Okay, and then what we're going to need is uh, a splitter, then a merge at the other end as well. So this might get a little bit tight in terms of in terms of space, but let's give it a go. A logistics splitter, so we're going to want it to come from here and line up. So probably as close as possible there for now. And that can connect. And then on this side, we're going to need the uh, basically the smelters, and we're going to have two of them. Um, production smelter. There we go. One there, I want to say. Then we'll have another one on this side. Close as I can get to it. And then we'll connect up the splitter merger. So one there, one there. One there, one there. And that should deal with the inputs. We just have to basically connect this up. And to connect it up, we're going to need another power pole because the power poles... Um, well, well, is there even a room in here for one? No. Okay, we'll just connect them up to the side down here. So from here to here, here to here, and here to there. Uh, hopefully you're not going to spike the power. Okay, and then we're going to need a, a merger again at the other side. So again, back to uh, logistics. Uh, there we are. Oops, that's a splitter on a merger. And our output will be to here, so we want to line this up with this belt. There we go. Are you lined up? You're not lined up. Uh, yeah, because I had to move everything. Yeah, that's fine though. This will work. And then we do the same thing from here to here. 
and we select the recipe. Iron ingot, please. Iron ingot, and hope the power doesn't spike now. Spiked a little bit. Oh, yeah, we're still fine. Okay, so now both of these should arrive, and they should be producing 30 a minute each, which means this should be fully packed, this belt. We got two lanes like a, um, a Factorio belt. That might be interesting if we had two lanes, but then it would go all kind of complications on inserting onto them. So that should double our throughput up there, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty good. And then we can just go and get some of those rotors and some of the reinforced iron frames and see if we can build ourselves a vehicle. I did find some coal, but just a resource node, not, not like a... Not really a resource node, just a boulder of coal, basically. Like a one-off. <laughs> and so I've got a little bit of it, but not, not a huge amount. And we're getting pretty close to that rock. Uh, yeah, and it's got, uh, obviously, lots of toxic stuff all around it. However, lots of rotors. Yeah, it's building up a little bit. And we can just grab these off the belt. We shouldn't need too many more. We'll do the same thing with the reinforced iron. Get them off the belt. Uh, I don't really have much space to put a storage can down, but I really should probably think about putting them in storage. Let's just get rid of you for a second. And we're just going to go to foundations and make ourselves a little bit more room. Hopefully I have enough foundations. Yes, this will block some of the uh, belt that goes down there to the... Space elevator, but I don't really much mind about that just yet. I just want a little bit more room to play with. We're getting a little bit closer to the toxic stuff, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll sort it. And you can go away, and so can you. And you. And let's just get a couple of uh, boxes. Storage. Organization. There we go. They are rather larger, these boxes. Be nice, be nice if there was a smaller variant, but... Uh, no, that'll be fine for now. Uh, there we go. Lined up. Alright, that should start producing. Yep, there they go. And we can go and grab those later. All good. And now we should get a lot more production of rods, hopefully, because that's now got more iron coming through. Because remember, we're splitting the 60 a minute back down into 30 a minute now, on two lines. These were previously only getting 15 a minute. And then these can take 15 a minute um, at the moment. So this is going to pile up too much. We need a second one here for rods. We're going to do that. But this can do at full speed. So yeah, this is going to start jam getting jammed up with iron ingots. But that's okay. I'm not too worried right now. I do have a little bit more room that I can place a second uh, a second um, assembler, uh, con constructor in if I want to. And even a bit more space here that I can move it around. All right, let's, let's go and look at uh, what we actually need then. So vehicles, uh, let's go and make those modular frames. And I really, I'm really, i really going to move that uh, hub around, uh, probably during this episode, actually, because we're going to get done stuff for coal, and back comes our pod. Good. Uh, there we go. So I need modular frames, and I need, need rods for that. Okay, let me make a few of those. And there goes our ability to make modular frames. One, two, three. And now, can I make a tractor? I can. It's a very small tractor, I'll admit. But it's a tractor all the same. The front. Uh, sorry, that's the back. <laughs> that's the front. Sort of like a Martian rover of sorts from, from various films. And we can put it down there. And there's our tractor. So there is a crafting bench on the back. It's important because you may need to make biomass or something for fuel. And uh, we can drive it around if we had a fuel source, which we don't yet. Okay. Um, we can, I guess I could put the coal in there. That would be one option. But uh, before we get that, can we actually scan for coal now? We can. Coal. I know there's normally a spot over that way, but it's a long way and it's on top of a cliff. So I uh, may all look for another location. Oh, there we go. So there is one that way, about 658. That's the, the cliffside one. And there's one about a kilometre that way. It might be worthwhile us going looking for that kilometre one. After do that, we're going to need some fuel. And um, we've got 41 coal, which we can use as fuel. And if there's anything else I need to be able to make, I need to be able to make a few things. One is the um, coal generator itself. So it's going to need more modular frames. And we need at least one. <clears throat> and probably more, but uh, one will do for now. And then production, I'm going to want a uh, Minor Mark 1, so I'm going to need portable miner, and I'm going to need some more rods, clearly. 
probably lots of foundations and just bits, bits and pieces like iron, stuff like that. However, this does have a uh, storage, I think. Yeah, it does have a storage, so we can just dump in some stuff in here that we're going to be wanting, like found uh, foundation material, concrete essentially, uh, some plates, and that gives me room to get sort of some other stuff done. Um, is there anything else I want in here? No, I think I want to dump the food back here. All right, let me go and explore for that coal. Let me get some more resources, and I'll meet you over there, and we'll see what we can build. I'm beginning to think the developer is evil. Um, this map is hand-placed. This is not random, you know, coincidence. There's a rock right in the middle of this coal patch. Um, yeah. However, thankfully, that isn't the only, only coal patch here. Just slightly annoying and slightly troll-like. Um, there is another coal patch over here. Hopefully, I can actually build something on it. Yeah, we can. So, I'm going to turn it away from here to send it sort of into open space if I can. And then we can build that up. Good. And uh, from there, we're going to want to build a coal generator. Now, you have to be careful around coal. You generally get range mobs that can spit fireballs at you. So, you do want to make sure that uh, that isn't a problem. I have killed one already, and they're much tougher than the, uh, the ones that guard the iron ore. Uh, so, now, can I actually build um, what I need to? I need to build a coal generator and then feed it back around. So, um, do I have enough for that? Or well, I need to make another trip. I need to make modular... Iron frame, and uh, do I have enough on me for that? Let's just go and check at our um, our little truck. I have ran already a power line all the way back to the base. Yes, that does connect up. It's a long run. It's a kilometer long. Uh, yeah, so let's just see. Modular frame. I need some reinforced iron plates, which I can make one of. There we go. Uh, modular frame, which I can make one of. Okay, we can always get more from our base, of course, and uh, that should let me build a coal generator, which is massive. Um, and uh, yeah, we want to probably put these into an array eventually, but until we get to that, we will just be able to um, do something like uh, run a power cable to them. Um, why don't I just put them like this, sort of? Yeah, maybe I should put down some foundations. Uh, the other foundations, the uh, larger ones. Um, can we actually stack those up? There we go. And hopefully that should be okay for this. So, uh, let's put it down. One coal power plant, please. Um, there we go. Just about. And maybe that's too close. Uh, let's just see if you connect. Yeah, no, you won't. Uh, we need to get more room available. Takes a little while to deconstruct those. And uh, let's get those foundations back again and go for those. So we need more room back there. Okay, now we build one coal power plant. Yes, you will. And that should leave us plenty of room to do other things with. Because we're probably going to want to split this and then send coal to elsewhere, including back to our base eventually. But for now, uh, I'm just happy with power, so let's just get the power hooked up. Uh, first of all, we sort of need to loop this back on itself and that this needs to provide power to you. So let's just get a power pole down. And that can go, just go here for now. Rework it later. So power pole from you to you and from you to you. And then we just need to feed this with some coal to get started. Uh, I can just grab some. Okay, and uh, is that enough to start it? Let's go. Okay, that should provide power to you, and you should start producing coal ore. It's spinning up. Come on, coal ore. Well, coal. <laughs> it's not an ore. There we go. Okay. So that's good, and then we can just connect that pole all the way back to our base, through the trees, I think. Uh, yep, yeah, one. And to here. And from here, back to this pole. Alright, and then we should be able to see our base. Yes, so our base is power is down here anyway, and now it's 
well, it's not doubled, but uh, it's 50 megawatts per coal uh, generator. So we're all good, I think, at least for now. And uh, I can build more of these. Let's just see. What are you at? Are you at 60 a minute? Yes. And how much do you take on this side of things? You take... Uh, doesn't actually say. It just says 5.4 seconds per. So uh, 54 seconds for 10. Uh, so this will be at least uh, in a 4... What? Um, so 54, uh, 54 seconds for 10. This produces 60. So yeah, we can get quite a few of these plants in without actually expanding this anymore. Beyond that point, we'll have to move that rock somehow, and I don't know how we might do that. Anyway, yeah, we'll leave that for another day. For now, we've got more power available. And I wasn't quite happy with that single coal uh, plant back down at the um, in that nice, nice scenic little valley. There was a beautiful lake with a nice waterfall going into it. I thought mm, maybe we should pay, pay this over, but no, it was really too actual beautiful to actually consider doing that. And so what I did instead is just take a bunch of iron plates and basically built the coal after, after I put a splitter in place between the um, the miner and that generator, so that always gets powered no matter what down there. I did actually bring the output of that splitter out and brought it over this way. So you'll see there is a belt here, and it probably hasn't arrived yet, but uh, it is connected, I think. Well, I'll figure that out later. So uh, we need to just get some uh, foundations down here. We've got plenty of um, plenty of concrete to do this with. And uh, we're just going to be able to basically create some sort of plant that we can put our coal generators in. Now, I sort of want to... Uh, Maybe double rows of them. That might be uh, look quite good. So let's just get uh, this down. And that means we're going to bring it in at this end and then have the coal generators running through. So, uh, so either side of it, basically. So if we look at our coal generator layout, uh, let's bring it this way. How much room do we need? Uh, that will actually work for them. Um, so let's put it sort of square on like that. Does that look okay? Yeah, look, whoops. Hmm. Looks okay to me. Yeah, so we'll need to put some more foundations this way, so let's just find that. Let's see, can we actually get enough room here? Uh, we're starting to hit the ground again, so maybe I'll have to extend it out into the valley first before we actually put these down, but uh, let's see how it goes. Yeah, I think we are going to have to put it down into the valley, so let's just uh, put another one down. Power, coal generator, and uh, let's put it down basically the same position just a little bit further across and will they stack next to each other quite nicely they should do once i have enough foundation uh, more of you please and even more okay will you now fit next to each other power Coal generator, yes you will, and uh, if I put one, say, there, they'll line up with each other. Ah, oh, I moved it just as it actually... Go away. Line up, please. There we go. And how much room do we need if we spin this around? We have enough room already to do this, so we can just line this up and decide how much room we want between them. Probably not a great deal. We just need enough room for a splitter essentially. So I want to move them like there. Uh, maybe that's enough room. Okay, and we'll just get rid of that one. And is our coal just arrived? It looks like it has just arrived. Good. So now we can bring this on to here. And let's keep it straight at this end. We're probably going to require another splitter and sending it off that way as well, because we're going to need this for steel as well as for power. Uh, but for the meantime, we can just use uh, splitters here. Splitters happen to be nicely laid out for this. They have three outputs. So if we just make sure our input is this way, and uh, we can put this uh, so an equidistant between them. We can then put one output this way, output this way. And for now, we can just drop this in. There we go. And the same thing, basically, down here. So a splitter. And we just line that up with the previous splitter and with the both of them. There we go. And I can put another one of these in now. Uh, power coal generator. We can turn it around and should be able to line it up with the next one. 
somewhat, if I can get it, get it to the right position. There we go. Ish. Is that off? That is off. Yeah. So much of a problem actually getting these in the right place sometimes. Uh, let's just get this there. That is lined up with you and you. There we go. And then we can just put a belt here. And there we go. Uh, we just need to cut you to you. And we've got coal coming into all of our coal generators. We do actually need to, of course, hook them up to power. They won't really work very well otherwise. So we should be able to just put these through a power pole. Am I? Uh, no, hopefully I'm not encroaching on stuff. Let's get it down here. Okay, and then we can connect these up. Just a two each. Uh, can I connect more lines to this connection? Yeah, they're all connected now. And then that can then be connected that way to you. And that then should be connected to the base. So, we have 330 megawatts available. Good. Far, far more than we actually need right now. But uh, that should be good, and these are indeed building up with coal. So I need to do anything else other than maybe think about a splitter here at some point for steel. And for the most satisfactory, uh, no pun, well, pun intended, I guess, part of this whole process is removing these biomass burners because I don't have to collect any more leaves. And that is by far worth doing all of this. So those four have gone down. And now we have 250 megawatts of power still, and we're only consuming uh, a fifth of that, just over a fifth, maybe about a quarter. So, yep, no more no more leaf burning. Good, well, or biofuel burning. That me really means I have enough uh, to use the biofuel for other things, like, for example, a chainsaw. Uh, so let's take a look at what we can actually go for. Uh, obstacle clearing, we could go for the chainsaw, I suppose. It needs a lot of rods for a chainsaw, but uh, we could do that. Uh, walkways, um, we are going to get to that, and Logistics Mark 2, I actually almost want that more than anything else. It just needs some reinforced iron plates, some rotors, and the rest is stuff we already have or is close enough. So let me just get that done. Um, let me just put in those, this, uh, we're going to need some other more bits and pieces, but um, there's the rotors and the cable so yeah we just need some more reinforced iron plates some more wire and some more cable which is from wire and we've got the storage boxes up there storing some of that although i have just taken some of it to uh, to make the modular frames for the uh, coal generators so we'll have to worry a little bit about that as well but uh, let's go and see how much stuff we've got building up um again uh, this won't be very much i suppose but uh, let's just take a look uh 13 and 12. Enough to get this particular bit of research done. And the wire, however, we'll have a lot more of. Let's actually just put some more foundations in here so I can run across. Uh, yes, lots more wire. Which means, of course, easy cable production. There's no need to, to worry about it. Okay, so let's get this off, and we should have access to Logistics Mark II, which is the better version of belts. So, in you go. Um, there's the wire cable I need to make, and uh, that won't be very much, 150 cable. Yep, just hold down the space bar. So, while I'm actually doing that, um, what do you guys think? How far have you got into the game? Have you got any suggestions for what I've done so far? Yes, we're going to need that coal. We can't just leave it down there in that valley and just export the power. We need it anyway, so that's that's one thing that uh, that people were saying. You can just leave it near the wherever you're generating power. That's fine. We'll get to that soon enough. And then, um, yeah, I think we may well want to worry about actually balancing stuff now, uh, or at least a little bit more to speed things up. But then I need, I need a lot more foundations. So I'm going to do that probably between the episodes, building up a lot more foundations and getting that going. So there is our, yep, Logistics Mark II. And that should mean I should be able to replace one type of belt with the other, depending on... Uh, depending on what the recipe is for this. It's <laughs> it's reinforced iron instead of regular iron. Okay, so we have a lot less of that than uh, than otherwise. However, we should be able to make conveyor poles stackable, 
which should help us with lifting uh, these into the air. So uh, let's just put it on number seven for now, and let's see uh, how this actually works. And let's see if we can replace this a little bit and uh, see how it goes. All right, so it's going to go up there. Let me just um, disable our factory for a second. Whoops. <laughs> so here's our conveyor pole stackable. And we sort of want it so that it's going up there, don't we? So we'd want, uh, I guess, it lined up to there. And uh, you can put one on top of the other, presumably. Yep. So we want something along this side of lines. Yep. And now, can we actually just make a lift with this? Let's just see if... Is this far enough away, do you think? Well, let's give it a go. Okay, and if I just put our conveyor belt into, let's say, the first one, uh, can I actually wrap it round here, I wonder? So if I go up one, that will work. But then I need to wrap it round from that to go to the next tier as well, so will you let me do that, I wonder? Uh, or at least maybe not like this, maybe we need actual t section of two of these just to be able to wrap it like that. Hmm, let me have a think. Okay, building it like this actually works. You do need to leave at least one space between these two stackables, but otherwise you can make a lift, and this has enough space to get a second belt through here. So, for example, one's belt's going through there, you can put it between there and there, there and there, there and there, there and there, and then you could lead it up to this one at the top left and then over to the top. However, that won't allow three, and this has got three holes here, so... Um, I could just replace that with a 2, and that might fit a lot nicer, but, uh, yeah, I'm not quite so sure about that just yet, but, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. There are other ways of doing this with various other different structures, uh, including these walls, etc., with uh, conveyors attached to the side of them. If you have a look at these, there's wall conveyor perpendiculars like this, so you can sort of um, create the similar kind of structure like this. And probably, um, ah, well, mm, no, it needs to be in place of that, doesn't it? Yeah, let me just uh, remove that for now. Yep, yeah, and we'll just put the same structure in, just temporarily. There you go, and you can then loop these into each other. Um, not sure how well they're going to work between between these, but no, they appear to work just fine. And you can build the same thing like this. You get the idea. Works perfectly well, uh, just like the other one. Just this is used different blocks, so up to you entirely. Just thought I'd give the uh, guys ideas, and I'm sure people will come up them with the most efficient way. And in fact, even once you remove the walls, the, the, the belt will stay where it is. Uh, that's interesting. Um, because then I can put this back, and then you end up with a freestanding lift, essentially. Uh, no no nodes needed. Yeah, uh, that might be a bit cheaty, but uh, it is possible. Uh, so yeah, see what you think. And uh, let's just put this wall back before I forget. There we go. Uh, that's the wrong, wrong side. Whoops. There we go. All right, so that episode we've got done with coal. And to know, well, tomorrow's episode, I think, if it's not going to be a Project on 3 day, I think we're going to get on to the next step. Now, what's the next step available? Uh, we have truck stations. We don't need truck stations yet. That's only if you're bringing goods back by a truck, or tractor in this case. Uh, I'm not going to need that at all. Uh, we're going to do it by belts, because uh, they're just real, more reliable than the truck's autopilot at the moment. Uh, by all means, you can try the truck's autopilot. It just can be a little bit... Um, a little bit temperamental, let's put it that way. And everything else we can already do, or we've already made. So we're going to need to basically tech upwards now. Uh, we need a few more things. So we have done all of Tier 3. That's done now. Tier 4 is into steel production. And of course we have the um, Minor Mark II here. That'll be a nice, useful improvement. Yeah, that's double, essentially. So you'll need the uh, equivalent belt to be able to, to run that at full speed. But of course we don't need to run it at full speed just yet. 
Uh, heavy modular frames, motors and stutters, etc. So that is going to be useful. I think I also want this this Xeno Basher. Hopefully that will be a, a much better weapon than the one we have at the moment. Uh, we have all the stuff for that, so that will be easy enough. And then you can almost you can even get to Logistics uh, Mark III, but um, that's going to need, I suspect, yeah, motors. I suspect to actually build them. So the, we're going to need more production chains going on before we build that. So yeah, there's a few things for me to actually do. I think I'm going to get on with a couple of these off camera uh, because these are just basically the same ingredients we've already got, just in various quantities. And uh, I'll join you at the start of the next episode for some more satisfactory with uh, steel production. I think is going to be the next episode, or at least maybe improving some of these uh, these workflows. We need to get them more balanced. Yes, we balance the input here, but we're not taking these. Uh, these goods in at the uh, the speed that these can produce. So we need to uh, populate that all the way through the workflow, all the way through the production line, and uh, see where we get to. So hopefully, hopefully you join me for that, and hopefully you join this episode, enjoyed this episode. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe, share as you normally would. Click on the bell if you've got notifications. More importantly of all, leave comments for your fellow players. And uh, we'll see you next time. As always, guys, thanks for watching.